Hey everyone, Arnaldo here. Welcome to my channel. This is the making of Antropolis, uh, where I show you guys the world building of this comic book I've been working on for years and one day will be published. And today's character is Axis. He was the first character I created in my life when I was 10 years old. This means that it predates the very concept of Antropolis. The earliest memories I have of him are jumbled up in my head, so I'm not sure if I created the design first or the concept. What I do know for sure is that at some point, my neighbor, the same age as me and I, decided to use our own superheroes to play with instead of the ones we would see on TV. Mine was called Spirit Man, and I thought the name and the concept were brilliant. His secret identity was Miguel. His powers were the ability to project his spirit out of his body and possess other people. Years later, I came to learn that DC's dead man already had that power, but it was too, too late to change. In my mind, my 1994 spirit man was much older than DC's 1967 dead man. The custom I created based on my four main superhero references at the time, Batman's dark tone, Superman and Spider-Man's colors, and the claws of a guy I'd already seen kind of like at a glance and that I thought was called X-Man. Later I came to know that his name was actually Wolverine and, and X-Men were the people he would hang out with. <laughs> Spirit Man had a partner, Catman, who was played by my neighbor Juan, and by the way, I also came to know years later that there was a DC, another DC character with the same name. But let's leave him for another video. I, we had many afternoons of adventures with these characters in their super technological vehicles. The Spirit Mobile and the Motor Cat, both played by my wooden go-karts. The big white one was the Spirit Mobile and, and the smaller one was the Catman motorbike. Years went by and I kept creating characters as a form of therapy, I guess. But with all that universe of characters I had in my head, Spirit Man and Cat Man were losing protagonism. And uh, when I got older, my interest in more complex and sophisticated stories left them completely on the side. Until the day I decided that Antropolis needed more consistency as a world of fantasy and science fiction. Without giving away any spoilers, I needed a character in the backstory of that world to hold together all the different paths and lines where very different worlds intersect. Worlds that needed to exist in order to explain the rules of the main world that the readers would actually follow. I needed an axis, a backbone, an essence, a spirit to play that role. And the first character that crossed my mind was my first creation. Spirit Man then became Axis. And to be very honest with you, it's not in my plans to show him in the comics anytime soon. The reason to present a video about him now is simply because I think he deserves it. This channel is for me much more a therapy and a way to share ideas than a sales window. When creating the illustrations and videos, I also force myself to organize my ideas, feelings, and meanings. And this is immensely therapeutic for me. As Neil Gaiman used to say, when you have good days or bad days, make good art, right? All characters that appear in the making of Antropolis are my creations and are somehow connected to the events that will be featured in the stories. My hope is that as I organize ideas around here, produce the comics and live every other aspect of my life, I'll have enough lifetime to present everything I'd like to present. Thanks for watching this far and I hope to see you in the next video.